Hello ladies and gentlemen, nerds of all ages, shapes and sizes, welcome to the cast. My name is Josh, and today, I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you what the hell it was you just saw. Back in January, we ended season 4 of The Storyteller, and at the end of that video we mentioned that we'd be taking the big guy on a different kind of adventure in 2017. After a brief setback due to identity theft, the team and I are back and ready to show you exactly what it is we've been working on. So buckle up, Fallout fans. We've got a lot to show you. We knew we wanted to bring the Fallout community something extra special this year. The storyteller has been spinning tales about the Wasteland for years, and what started as a simple lore series has turned into something utterly unique and utterly nerdy. You see, our storyteller was created with the idea that the stories told in the older Fallout games get mostly left behind with every new installment. The context that the older games provide is lost for newcomers to the franchise, which is sad, because there's a lot of great lore to be found on those old hollow discs. The goal of our latest project is to bring one of those hollow discs back from the dead. This was the hollow disc created by Roger Maxson, founder of the Brotherhood of Steel. The disc contains a detailed account of the horrifying events that led to the creation of the Brotherhood. We get an almost daily account of what Maxson and his soldiers were subjected to before the bombs fell. It is this diary that we'll be using as the basis for our film. I don't want to give away too many plot details about the film itself. Most things are best left a surprise, but I did want to tease a few things about the production. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's start by looking at the set pieces because that's an aspect of the project that I'm personally very excited about. Welcome back to Mariposa. If you haven't played Fallout 1 and that name still rings a bell for you, it's likely because Mariposa has a particular significance in the mythology of the Fallout universe. It's arguably the most consequential location in the franchise, having given birth not only to the Brotherhood of Steel, but the West Coast Super Mutants as well. It's been two decades since we first saw Mariposa in all its 2D glory on Microsoft DOS. The base has been painstakingly recreated from the ground up. Every nook and cranny is present to form a faithful representation of the original base. Oh, and for all you modders out there, you should know that once this recreation is completed, we will be putting the .esp file online, so we cannot wait to see what the community does with it. There's a couple more sets we have made, but that's all we're going to show you for right now. We don't want to get too, you know, spoilery. Let's move on to talk a bit about animation, because it's going to play a much bigger role than ever before with our project Fallout Brotherhood. First though, let me give you guys a little background on how Machinima works. The Fallout games come preloaded with a set number of animations, those being the various character animations you'll encounter while playing Fallout. For example, Kellogg pointing his gun at your loved ones here, that's one animation and we can recycle that animation into one of our Storyteller videos. In fact, it's pre-made animations exactly like this. Ben and Tommy have used to film all four seasons of the Storyteller. The problem is that it's extremely limiting. To best illustrate what I'm talking about, let's use this puppet here. When using this puppet to tell a story, you would want your puppet to perform all kinds of actions. Whether that's talking to another puppet, or getting murdered by this super mutant, you want your puppet to be very flexible. Sadly, our puppets in Fallout 4 come preloaded with a very limited number of actions, so any of the stories we've tried to tell up to this point have been restricted by those animations. You can talk about whatever you want, but you're limited to what you can actually show. Custom animations have been mostly out of our reach till this point, because of low budgets and the fast turnover demanded by episodic content. When you're turning over Storyteller episodes two or four times a month, it's just not possible. With this project though, we've rewritten the rules. So take a quick look at this custom animation test we made. You'll notice that the character's movements are unlike anything you'll find in Fallout 4. As you watch it, just imagine 
the extra possibilities that custom animations provide. There's a lot more to this project than the sets and the animation that sets it apart from your typical storyteller episode, but we'll keep the rest on the down low for now. The idea behind this project is to make it a next level storyteller production. That's what we feel creatively led to do on YouTube right now, and I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, so I hope this video paints a vague but exciting picture of what's to come. There's about a dozen of us working on this little passion project, from animators to sound designers to various artists from all around the Fallout community, people that you have probably heard of if you're a fan of Fallout mods. Every last one of us appreciates your support and your patience. We'll be giving away two full-sized movie posters. These are big-ass movie posters that you can hang on your wall. If you want to win one, simply follow the ShoddyCast on Facebook or Twitter or, or both if you want to increase your chances of winning and message at us with the hashtag Brotherhood. You'll receive those posters when we're actually sending them all out to our Patreon donors as well. We'll announce those winners in about a week. One last thing before you go, a longtime shoddy cast contributor by the name of Anoctium has released an update for our Storyteller Armor mod. The update includes a Storyteller companion complete with new dialogue for Fallout 4, as well as a Edna-related questline. Links to that mod for both PC and Xbox will be in the description. I highly recommend you checking it out. That's it, Fallout fans. On behalf of all of us here at Team Storyteller, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.